okay um can this is how I get my numbers um on here well f um well you can see here is the address where I can see all the um on this website right here I see a little more information that than than you could on Zillow or some of the other website um uh, as we can see right here the property was bought for 650k right and uh, and is what finance um, right here um, he do about eight and a half percent down so it's about 55,000 right uh, so he financed five hundred and uh, and ninety five thousands at five and a quarter percent. So that is the facts. We cannot get away with that, right? So based on that fact, um, this is what I have right here that I want to share with you. Okay. So ba based on that fact, so right here I have uh, a down payment of uh, eight and a half percent. So that's mean that the total finance is going to be around five hundred ninety four thousands, which is a little less than five hundred ninety five thousand that we see on the other website, but it's not much, right? Um, and then the down payment, which is about fifty five thousand, so all this number of x, and so his total investment is um anyway let me let me see and the the closing cost for the house when he is buying this house is around sixteen thousand i mean even though he he bought it off market, but still there are um uh costs that are associated with purchasing the house. Uh, that uh, unless you buy in cash, but we know that he's actually financing, so the cost is very comparable to this number. I mean, it is can be anywhere between fifteen to eighteen thousands. So, um, but I have right here sixteen twenty five. That is, as you can see, about two and a half percent, right? It's very actually, it's very very. Um, accurate i mean it should be i mean the it shouldn't be much more or less than this and then the home improvement which means he's gonna you need to buy that thing up right and fix it i as i text you i say that i look at the pictures um for 2010 um the picture on 2010 listing they were pretty old so we know that he going in there and he did the kitchen he did the bathrooms the floor painting and all that sort of stuff so 65,000 I would say on the lower end but I mean remember we were talking about to get the other house up to you know a nice condition we were estimating about a hundred thousand but let's say that is maybe more conservative on our purchasing end but for him let's say he if uh, he knows what he's doing. He he has his own guy. Or he know a contractor that is really good. Give him a really good price. I would say sixty five thousand dollars, right? But it's I I I would say you know it could be sixty five thousand to eighty five thousand. But let's pick a lower number, and then for the insurance, um, home insurance is about fifty dollars a month. I'm I'm still guessing, but I mean this is a very uh, conservative number right here. And for the condo fee, I mean the association fee, this is a very accurate number. This is the this is what they have right now, seven hundred dollars a year. So that divided by twelve, we get fifty eight, and it's three fifty dollars a quarter for the condo fee. So here we get uh, so that is one hundred sixteen dollars per month. And tax is eight thousand. Anyway, all these numbers are pretty accurate, right? Except for the estimate on the closing costs and the uh, home improvement. But we know, 
you know, this number that I have on here are very, um, uh, are very conservative already. So based on the facts and a few guesstimate, conservative guesstimate that we have, right? We look at this number right here. If he is selling the house for seven seven five, he is actually losing money, three thousand six hundred sixty nine dollars, right? How so? Let let's look at it, right? So. If he bought the house for six fifty, right, and then the three months mortgage, that's mean he gotta pay for August, September, and October, three months of mortgage at five and a quarter percent. That is twelve thousand five hundred forty-three dollars. Forty-three dollars plus the resale cost. Well, these, I mean. I mean, I don't know, but normal, a very normal selling cost right now is 5%, right? But I, 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 I do this number right here, I will say uh, four and a half only, just to be on the conservative so you can see the number. But I, I don't think, I don't think this is... This is the right number, this is much less, but I mean, this is... The bare minimum, I believe, right? It's the selling cost, and then the purchasing cost again, sixteen thousand dollars, as we see earlier, and then the repair cost. So you take this number and minus everything, right here. The total um, selling cost, the total for the house, is seven seventy eight. That's total cost of the house, right? The total cost to get the house up to this point. Is seven seventy eight, and he he is selling for seven fifty five. He's losing three thousand dollars and six hundred three thousand six hundred sixty nine dollars. So if we come in here, anything less than this number or even this number, there's zero chance, absolutely zero chance. But he's gonna be mad, mad. And why do we even send an offer? So the 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 bare minimum that what do we need to have? 785 785 he making $5,000 so 780 he is completely breaking even $1,000 just for his gas All right so so why would anybody want to you know get into a flipping business to lose money nobody want to do that so yeah I mean unless he's put in the market for like another six months or so I don't know but then he, he probably gonna put it on rent instead of selling for less. But anyway, so based on this number, the minimum that he probably gonna say yes is oops eight hundred. Um there it is. He has about twenty thousand dollars in profit. Right? Uh so, so if we come in at for us to have a small, small chance of him saying, okay, it's 790. Yes, I don't think I, if I, if I mean, let's, 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 let, 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 let's say if you were this investor. Would you sell the house for seven ninety, with all that number, with all that effort you put in, and you get for three months, right? You get ten thousand dollars out of it. I don't think anybody, ah, uh, in the right mind would do that. Um, so, so like you can see, I know you were saying the worst he can say is no, right? But I, I mean, why would we want to do something that we know 100% for sure that he's going to say no? Right? It's just, I mean, just for 1%. I mean, this is not even 1% right here. For me, I mean, for me, if, as, as, as my point of view, unless I'm desperate, like I'm having, I'm having the house on the market for half a year already and I couldn't rent it, I just want to get out. 
and just disappear, then I would take this, right? And I think I think you would do the same thing. Uh, but again, there it is. There's a number. Uh, anything less than I really don't think anything less than eight hundred. He gonna say okay. He probably. He is hoping right now that he is hoping for a zero five, or else is really really tough for anything. So I mean, I mean seriously, if you don't like the house, then let not make the offer, but don't, 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 don't make people laughing at us. Um, seriously, we, the number. I mean, this is this number is not coming out of nowhere. It's coming out of. A very conservative estimate only on a few number the closing cost right uh, the fixing cost and the selling cost but those as you can see you cannot get away with the closing cost there is no way the selling cost right this is there's no way he can get anything less than this right so and the mortgage this is this is the fact he has to pay this much right and and as you can see all this number he he cannot get he pay, he cannot get away with any of this number now that we now there is some number that can be a little more or less which is the closing cost the selling cost but the selling cost i don't think there's anything less than that and for the home improvement cost 65,000 is very low. But how about, how about 55? That's another 10,000, right? But I mean, even 55, as he's only, he can only make 34,000. Well, how about, it would, if that's, you know, if seven, if that, if we do 775, we make 6,000. So even lower, but it is impossible for anybody to do the improvement on that house with that kind of things and that we see in there cost fifty five thousand dollars. I really don't think so. Um, it's more like eighty five thousand, but we say here is fifty five. So you know, um, I seriously think um, let's not make an offer if we don't we don't come in as around eight hundred. Seriously. Uh, now that we know the number and the number are very conservative they 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 don't have a lot of room at all i mean at, at the beginning and we can see right here um he was hoping that he is selling for eight twenty five right if he is selling for eight twenty five 825 he's making some money um let me see whoa oops that's 54,000 for three months there that's great right but he can't he lower the price to 809 right now 809 he's making 38,000 well, 38,000 because we have this number right here as 55. But I don't think it is 55. It's, it's, it's really at least 65. But if, if it's 75, 85, I don't know. He's not making much money at all. So there it is.